discourage nobody from coming into the house of the Lord because it's wrong. All you're doing is, keep, is heaping damnation upon yourself because it's wrong. God says stop doing it. Stop trying to run out there and do your own thing because it's not of God. Stay under the leadership. Stay under your pastor. Get a good understanding of what needs to be done. You know why there's a lot of problems out there? Because too many people left too fast. Think they know it and didn't have enough knowledge to know what was right. And now they messed up the whole thing. And then they got eight of them out there. Messed up. Eight messed up. Made like a hundred messed up. Yeah. Left too early. And the next thing you know, everybody messed up. Because you should have sat your butt down and waited. Like I tell my testimony, 15 years under one leader before I opened up my church. So if I could sit 15 years, you need to sit 20. But nobody want to sit one. They get one little, how do you see here, son? They gone. The Lord told me open up this church. The Lord said, I got to do it this way. The Lord said, I don't need you. The Lord, the devil is a liar. Sit and be taught. Come on, son. Amen. And go back and be taught some more. Amen. I always go back to get another dip. The car. I'm going to close in a minute. But listen to this. A car got to return to the station to get gas. Yeah. Why don't you return to the church? Some people get radical about it. It's silly. You got to come back and get the power. Get the tune-up. Yeah, you've been out there too long. That devil grabbing on you. If you don't come back, you're falling. If you don't come back, you're falling. I'm almost done here. I'm almost done here. Let me see. Where am I? No, no, no. We got to go because, because, because. Because, 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 wait, 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 because, because, amen, hallelujah, so, 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 so that's what I said, so, those people want to do their own thing, so they use the street as an excuse not to attend church, not to be committed under no one, see, Jesus said, my house, my house shall be called the house of prayer, the reason, and this is something I'm going to say, somebody might not agree, but it's God, the reason why he had to tell them that, because the street was in the house, And the church was outside. That's right. That's right. So he went in and he said, wait a minute, you don't do this in my house. This is the house of prayer. Get out of here. You Christians, get in there. Y'all belong in there. You don't belong in here. The wrong people was in the church. Why? Because the church was in the street. And the street was in the church. Backwards. He told them, y'all are backwards. This is the house of prayer, not a house of selling stuff. Misconception. They had a misconception then. They got a misconception now. And people afraid to tell them the devil is a lie. I tell them all. I tell them all. I ain't ashamed of no church. I love church. Church is church. That's what it's built on. Built on a chief cornerstone. He said, except the Lord build the house, they that they will never reign. He builds the house. Church was a house always in the beginning to now it was the house. We used to have church in our house back in the days. Back in the days, right there on Saratoga. We had a church in our building, right in our house. They still got church in their house. That's where it started from. They ain't started in no street. Camp meeting was in the church. It was. So why are we out here telling people they don't need the church? That's a misconception. Please go and teach people not to say that no more. He said his spirit dwells in the house, Amen. not in the street. That's all I want you to understand. And then, and, and, and I'm about to close here. Wait, 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 wait. I know it's, it is not the norm because, because some stuff here is, is, is a little above my head, but it's okay because he could be in deep water. Amen. Amen. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we, and, 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 and to God be the glory. See, the Bible says, except the Lord builds the house, they that labor, labors in vain. But the house... Is the church. Amen. The church started in the house. And the Lord said get your house in order. Amen. So we can say the church is the house that needs to get in order. Amen? Amen. So why you do not want to be in the building? In the church building. Like I said earlier. The glory of God is in the building. Hallelujah. I see the glory of God here now. Hallelujah. You can't shout in the street like you want to. Hallelujah. Try to praise in the street and see if somebody don't lock you up. 
Go ahead, go pump them up, 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 then hop up, 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 and see if they don't put you in the Jeep building. Noise control. Many of them in the Jeep building for misconception. Noise control. Trying to do what they should do indoors, outdoors. It's not going to work. God has not called you out there for that. He said, go out there and compel them to come in, not stay out. And too many people go out there and stay out there. That's right. And get lost in the wilderness. Oh and that's a shame. It don't need to be that way. It don't need to be that way. And this is sound doctrine. I don't care who don't like it. This is the real deal. Because it's scriptural. Yeah, it's true. God rests in the place. Yes. See, the Bible says they went to the temple daily, so we need to go to the temple daily. There is safety in the, temp in the temple, away from the demons of the street. Temple is another name for church. So in the house of the Lord, there is power, deliverance. Yes. We pray to sick into the house of the Lord so they may be healed and delivered. They cannot get healed and delivered in the street that is owned by Satan and his demons. Hmm. We are in the world, but not of the world. Amen. Our safety is in the church, not in the street. Nevertheless, if you want to have outside ministry, that's fine. But do not never forget the church. You can have outside ministry, but do not despise the church Amen. and the men and women of God that have indoor ministry. Amen. Amen. Because it's being done. I'm about to close, but this is being done. It really is. You hearing people saying, they think they all lack in that church, so don't go there. Ooh, and that Christian saying that, why say that kind of stuff? Why destroy the church? Yes, because what you do to one, you're doing to all. You're touching God. Don't you know you're heaping damnation against yourself because you're talking about somebody else in ministry? Lord have mercy. You gotta be careful what you say. I don't care how mad you get. Let your words be free. That's what the Bible says. Let your words be filled. Because you're hurting yourself and your so-called ministry. You're doing it wrong. And he, and he said you got people that's, that's in that pernicious way He's trying to stop people from doing what God says do. That's right. Trying to hinder them. Trying to muffle them. Don't trying to... Me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Two people building a church. Somebody follow me. You got to be out. <laughs> There's safety where you at. Why run somewhere else? Come on. Come on. Just respect leadership. And it'll be fine. It will be fine. Just respect leadership. I'm closing. This is about eight. I think this is the last one. I think God is finished. Uh, 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 uh. Amen. You need to bring the sick so they can have rest. This, oh my God. See, many doctors around them, they cannot go wrong. So this is important. You cannot take the street out of a person if they are still in the street. You must bring them out of the street so they can see something better. The change begins in the temple. There's no place like the house of the Lord where God dwells at. We must meet him at the temple. It's going down. It's going down. We have too many people saying things that are contrary to the word of God. And it's time to set the record straight. Jesus is coming for a church without a spot or wrinkle. And the church you dwell in must be holy. So yes, the temple is for God. What was relevant in the Old Testament is relevant in the New Testament. So let's come together and teach right. Let's be right. Hallelujah. One thing I'm going to leave with you. I was on the train. And I had to go to work 5 in the morning. And I hear this person on the train just yelling about, yell, 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 about the Bible. That really irked me. Yeah. I mean, come on now. I'm just going to work and you just yelling all in yeah. my ear. And then after he finished, he got a can talking about. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Annoying. That's annoying. I mean, come on. Don't be that foolish. Don't be that foolish. It don't take all that. And it, I mean, come on. There ain't nobody on the train but two people. So who you yelling at? <laughs> I mean, really? You just making a mockery. Because you ran too fast. One of the time, go sit yourself down somewhere. But I just said, let me move to another car. I wish you did. Because they do that. They be yelling and spewing. Hey, come on, man. I don't even have my coffee yet. I don't want to be on this train. And here you is trying to beat me with the Bible. Misconception. It's not necessary like that. You want to win somebody? Win them with kindness. 
Sit down next to the person. Talk to them nice. You don't have to beat them up. That's another misconception. Well, I'm out here doing God's work. Not like that, you ain't. No, no, Jesus had order in his steps. He had order. That's why he was invited to many places. Because he had order. He had respect. He knew how to deliver stuff. He didn't just bring anything. He said, my father told me this. My father said this. He proved it with scripture. I proved it with scripture. Always remember, my house shall be called the house of prayer. That's where he dwells in the temple. Don't run out the temple because he dwells in the temple. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe that's about, let's see. Uh, yeah, we did that. Prayer time among you. Amen. Come into the temple, you sick. God heals all infirmities. Now, let's go and build the house of the Lord on revelation knowledge. Not on man-made knowledge or beliefs. From this moment on, we can build on revelation knowledge. Not on man-made knowledge. Because it's man-made knowledge that causes wars and, and, and rumors of wars and destruction. Amen. Man causes that, not God. Man may knowledge say we could take it this way, we could take it that way. God knowledge is no, let's build together, reason together, let's work together, let's do this together. It's not no big me, it's no big you, it's just respect authority. Amen. Even if you don't agree with who's in leadership, they're in there, respect them. And you will go places because of your respect to them. You will have a better health in your life. The reason why your body is all sick and messed up because you're not respecting those in the leadership. They pray for your souls. And that's Bible. The Bible says that. So be careful because they pray for your soul that you may get right. But then again, you want to go up against them. If you don't understand, pray about it. Talk to them. I know a pastor brought me don't mind you talking to her about I don't understand what just happened. Talk. Don't go back bite. Don't go run out the door. Don't go ask other people advice. Go talk to your pastor. That's what she did for. I know she wasn't mind explaining. Bless him, Lord. Misconception of the church. That's the truth. Pastor's not that high up that she can't be touched. Jesus. Jesus. That's what he wanted me to leave with you all. Just realize that. No matter what happened, respect your leader. No matter what goes on, talk to your leader. No matter what, I don't care what it is. If it's another person, tell your leader. Amen. You're not snitching. You're getting the revelation. Yes, right. It's a difference. Don't go ask your neighbor. That kills me too. <laughs> tell your neighbor. Okay, you're fine. I ain't going to get into that one. <laughs> but your neighbor might not understand. Your neighbor might not even be saved. Right. But you turn it to them for advice. And they don't know nothing. But you go to your leader, which was ordained and chosen to do the work. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. No matter what happens, you can't go wrong. Why? Because you respect leadership. I'm going to leave you with this. David, the reason why David was so successful, he respects Saul. I don't care how angry he was with them, he still respect, even though he knew he had the throne. He still respected them. And after he died, he still said, I'm not worthy to take these people on. Here we is. <laughs> Leave that alone. Respect the leaders, amen. Don't have no more misconceptions of the church. If you don't understand something, ask your pastor. She will explain it diligently. Don't just run on your own thinking it's right. If somebody tell you you're ready for ministry, ask your leader. Don't take other people's word for it. It's not going to work. Believe me, your pastor has more for you than anybody else could. They have your best interests at heart. So believe, believe. Trust and believe. I'm telling you this because I know this. I've been in ministry 15 years with my apostle, and I didn't understand everything, but I stayed put. Because I seen something she had that I needed. And that's something I learned in school from a, from a sinner. My teacher told me, you might be upset at how they're teaching you, but they got what you need. Amen. <laughs> my dean needed, I needed what the dean had. I needed what my teacher had. 
I didn't like what the teacher was saying, but I needed what they had. So I had to learn to work it out. Because I need what you got. For ministry. Amen. And I know Pastor Barkley don't mind sharing. Amen. Freely she received, freely she will give. All you have to do is ask humbly and mean it. Don't play games no more. Don't play games no more. Let's get serious, all right? Let's get serious. Amen. God bless you. I don't know what to go from here. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let's give them a hand. Come on. Come on.